G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 22 of my multiplayer series against Old Crow Balthasaur. We're playing the Lion of Africa campaign, which is part of Strategic Command World War 1 Empires in Turmoil DLC. I am the Allies. I, I would say he's the Lion of Africa, but... It's looking a lot less imposing now that his entire army is just trapped in this corner with no supply and... Not accomplishing a whole lot of anything. Did I see attrition then? Did did I did I see his unit suffering attrition? Okay, he, here's a quick. How are you on seven supply? Um, okay, he's got, he's got an HQ here, and he's got another one probably in there. Um, that, that's how he's doing it, but... Yeah. I'd like if you died, um, 161 points for an Amphib, that is steep. Frankly, I think I'm getting scammed doing that. Um, they're they're gonna sail like a, across this lake. I don't know how how wide the lake is, but it's not it's not that big. Um, so yeah, um, there, there's someone in the um in the navy department that's like, hey, let's make these boats just rip off the um the army. Fairly common in just about every war that supplies just scam people, but yeah, it's happening to me right now, and I'll tell you, it's not pleasant, <laughs> but we're, we're doing alright, like, he's trapped, he, he's never going to do anything with it, with his army, um, it's really just a case of how long it takes me to smash my way through it at this point, um, I will upgrade you. Uh, okay, I, I gave um, the sheep of Africa a bit of a bit of experience. They really didn't need. Um, unfortunate. I'll drop you in there, that gun's not really useful anyway. Um. Alright, who wants to attack? See, we got this problem called rain, and it's... It's making things move a lot more slowly than they really ought to. Wow, we burnt through a lot of points very quickly with that. I hardly did anything. But those boat suppliers, um... We're, we're gonna be... I'd say talking to them after the war, but... It, it'll be a bit more severe than merely talking to them. We're, we're gonna scream our heads off at them because... They're absolutely scamming the army. Um. Alright. Uh, what, what's there left to do? Uh, have I moved you? I have not moved you. You would like some replacements. Now, I uh, still can't do that. I need you in there, and then I can. Uh, should I send some more you? They're far away and I can't be bothered moving them. That, that unit will not be the, um... The longest lasting. I, I don't know how many points he's got left. Probably none. But um, okay, he's got more supply than I'm giving him credit for. That is frustrating. 
But he does only have 23 units. He's never building another one. And most of the ones he's got are under strength and low supply. And I'm really just being held up by, by the rain. Which, the rain's going to disappear pretty soon. And then we'll get like 8 turns of clear weather in a row. Which is going to be wonderful. Uh, can I bring you forward? Is it worth bringing you forward? Probably not really. Something I will have to consider if this takes too long to knock out is dropping an HQ on an amphib. Dropping it here. Because I could do it. left to do. Not really. Not really. Uh, you'll be on four. I'm gonna bring you back and I'm... Okay, I'm not going to reinforce that one because apparently it thinks it's a bit too far away from grass. Um, it's a horse. There's grass everywhere here. At least I think there is. So, someone who knows the um, the geography of this area, um, please tell me if there's grass here. I'm pretty sure there is, but um, if not, then the cavalry has an excuse. But if if there's grass here, and I mean it's next, it's on a river, so it can drink from the river. There's probably grass there, so the horse can eat the grass, and the men need to stop complaining. Um, now, let's see if he has watched the Jolly in the Chocolate Factory movie from 2005. I hope I got the quote right. <laughs> um, <laughs> very funny movie. Um, I, I hope he's watched it because it's good. It is good. Alright. Um, nothing left to do there. Except for hope that this thing isn't in here next turn. And the fact that he's moving it down here suggests it probably will be. Um, well, these clowns are trapped, so what what will happen if if he does move it here is I'm going to just put a uh, HQ on an amphib and just smash it from both sides at once. Um, And, and probably start transporting things down here too. We we will get through it. The the only thing slowing me down is the is the rain, because you can only move a little bit um, each turn of the rain. As soon as that stops being a factor, and it will next turn, we march. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I've moved everyone. I'm gonna bother moving. Now it'd be interesting. I put the, I put the um, artillery here and I start just bombarding it. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Now, how many units do you have coming? Just that. How many do the Brits have coming? Nothing. Though they got marched like forever to get here. Takes too long. There, there'll be a traffic jam pretty soon anyway, so. Alright, let's go. Oh, finally. 
You know, why couldn't I have got that last turn and then upgraded all my units during the rain? Um, there we go, the rain's gone. Good riddance. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.